The singularity at the center of a black hole is the ultimate no man's land location where matter is compressed to an infinitely small point and all concepts of time and space utterly collapse and it does not exist in reality. There must be a replacement for the singularity but we do not know that. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at scientists who finally just saw what's inside a black hole. Yeah, you heard it right. But it is possible that deep within a black hole, stuff is not compressed to an indefinitely small point. Instead, there may be the smallest possible matter arrangement, the tiniest possible volume pocket. This is known as a Planck star, and it is a theoretical possibility envisioned by loop quantum gravity, a very speculative idea for producing a quantum form of gravity. In the world of loop quantum gravity, space and time are quantized. The universe around us is made up of minuscule distinct chunks, yet on a scale so minute that our movements appear smooth and continuous. This theoretical chunkiness of space-time is advantageous in two ways. First, it brings the dream of quantum mechanics to its logical conclusion by naturally explaining gravity, and second, it prevents singularities from forming within black holes. Matter encounters resistance as it compresses beneath the massive gravitational weight of a collapsing star. The discreteness of space-time prohibits matter from shrinking below the Planck length about 1.68 by 10 to 35 meters. All the matter that has ever fallen to the black hole is crushed into a ball of the same size, absolutely minuscule, yet not infinitely minute. This resistance to continuing compression eventually leads the material to uncollapse, rendering black holes ephemeral phenomena. Yet due to the enormous time dilation effects surrounding black holes, it takes billions or perhaps trillions of years until they explode, from our perspective in the outside universe. So we are now set. The Gravistar is another attempt to destroy the singularity that does not rely on unproven quantum gravity ideas. The concept is so abstract that my spell checker didn't even recognize the word. The distinction between a black hole and a Gravistar is that the Gravistar is filled with dark energy instead of a singularity. Dark energy is a pervasive substance that causes space-time to grow. It seems like science fiction, but it's real. Dark energy is currently at work in the broader cosmos, accelerating the expansion of our entire universe. As matter falls onto a Gravistar, it is unable to penetrate the event horizon because of the presence of dark energy within, and hence remains on the surface. Yet, beyond this surface, Gravistars appear and behave like standard black holes. The event horizon of a black hole is the point of no return, the limit beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. However, recent gravitational wave detector observations of merging black holes have potentially ruled out the existence of Gravistars, as merging Gravistars will emit a different signal than merging Merging black holes and LIGO, Laser Interferometer, Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo are accumulating more and more examples every day. Although Gravistars are not strictly forbidden in our reality, they are on very thin ice. Planck stars and Gravistars may have impressive names, but their existence is uncertain. Thus, a more nuanced and realistic perspective of black holes in our universe may provide a more ordinary explanation for singularities. The concept of an infinitely dense single point derives from our conception of motionless, non-rotating, uncharged, somewhat dull black holes. Actual black holes are far more intriguing, particularly when they spin. The singularity of a revolving black hole is stretched into a ring by its rotation, and according to the math of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which is the only math we have, once you pass through the ring singularity, you enter a wormhole and emerge through a white hole, the opposite of a black hole where nothing can enter and matter escapes at the speed of light, into a completely new and exciting region of the universe. One difficulty is that whirling black hole interiors are catastrophically unstable, and this is based on the exact same mathematics that predicts the information about traveling to a new universe. The issue with revolving black holes is that they, you guessed it, rotate. Stretched into a ring, the singularity is revolving at such an unbelievable rate that it possesses immense centrifugal force. And in general relativity, centrifugal forces of sufficient strength behave like anti-gravity. They push, not pull. This generates a boundary called the inner horizon within the black hole. Outside of this zone, radiation is falling into the singularity due to the intense gravitational force. Nevertheless, radiation is driven by anti-gravity near the ring singularity, with the inner horizon serving as the turning point. If you were to meet the inner horizon, you would be confronted with a wall of unimaginably energetic radiation. The entire history of the universe blasted into your face in the blink of an eye. The creation of an inner horizon sows 
was the seeds of the black hole's demise. The existence of rotating black holes in our universe, however, indicates that our math is incorrect and that something strange is occurring. What actually occurs inside a black hole? The frightening aspect is that we may never find out. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.